Do 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 do. A little bit shallow through here. Nice nah, little place to float. Kind of just enjoy the uh, beautiful day we've got. I keep all the tree limbs. Ducks flying off in the distance. Kind of let the current take control and see what happens. Smally, he's small though. He might hit the board. <laughs> he might hit eight. <laughs> Huh? Oh, was it really? Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of little minnows and stuff in here jumping around, moving around, so that's the reason I thought a fluke would work pretty good. Yeah, that water was skinny right there too where he hit. Where I caught him. Ah, hey, he's not huge. He's foot. Come over. Yeah, he ain't bad. He's not not hateful. I said a foot, he may go fourteen. Now this will be some good practice. Oh, he's decent. It's the biggest one I've caught today. <laughs> he's the biggest one I caught today, which still ain't saying a whole lot. He's big enough to pull me around a little bit, though. When I can't find my, when I can't find my anchor to drop.
Come on, buddy. You're tired. Come on in. Oh, you swallowed it, buddy. I see it right there, but uh-uh. I'd say he's got it right in his gill. It ain't too deep, but it's right in a bad spot for him. Now we'll see if he wants to get on the measuring board. Another little feller. Yeah, ain't very big. Got him right in the top of the jaw. He hit right where I said that one a second ago, came after it. Right as soon as I pulled across the log, I cast back in there. I came after it. They're liking that little pink and green. I hope so. I hadn't got there yet. Yeah. Right beside this tree, and I don't know. Let's try it one time and see what happens. Oh, there's a truck crossing right after we did. We didn't have to cross on his land. Ever we'll go underneath him. So, all right, all right, all right. Coming up on a big deep hole, he said. It's amazing how the river changes from this little bitty shallow stuff to a big deep hole. Oh, it's a little cut over too. Yeah, it's pretty wild, pretty wild. Oh, we're gonna try to get through this little bit of rapids without running over Dale and try to get our kayak back around here. Uh, so if we can't catch him. So my fluke hit the bank over here. He, he's dark. Well, let's take me back over here to my fluke, little buddy. Huh? Different one. Yeah.
Trying to move my tangled mess of fishing poles out of the way here. Point them over that way. Ta-da! Got it back. All right then. <laughs> I think they are. Oh, he got off. I got the good part out of him. Got the fight out of him. I can catch, I can catch a few this size. So I can catch a few about this size. A little bit. He was pretty close to the boat here. I seen some minnows moving around right here close to me, so I thought, well, I'll just fish it back to me all the way this time. At least the wind's kind of slowing me down. I don't know if that's good or not, but we'll see. A few little ripples through here. There you go, baby. Paddling down and fishing. Of course, it's over in that current, they always feel a little bit bigger then. Yeah, he's not that big. 15, 14. Just felt big for a minute. Uh uh. Nailed it in the current, and I thought he's a little bit bigger than that. Seen that tail walking. He might be. He might be. I just felt like he had a lot of shoulder when I first. He was out in the middle down below us there where I caught that other one at. <laughs> Another crankbait. Bass or red eye? Oh, yeah. Well, that's a nice red eye, too. Look how fat. We may not have caught the biggest fish in the world today. We've caught some. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it sure is. Now you can go ahead and get off now, buddy. 14 and a quarter. I'll take them all day long. And I mean, he slammed that fluke. It just... Oh, gosh, yeah. Double my rod when he hit. It, it felt good in that current. That's what we like to see, though.
you go, buddy. But this haha, is a North Fork Holston River largemouth. Not the biggest in the world, but still. A North Fork Holston River largemouth. They are everywhere up through here. People don't think about the largemouth being in Holston, but there's quite a few up this way. Through bucket biology or just they've been here or whatever. caught so many this size today <laughs> they're still fun to catch there's not once again catch them right here before the rapids but yet another one I don't know how many it is I couldn't count that high but it's been a great day <laughs> Over in that current, it's always hard to tell, but he's a good one. <laughs> Ain't no monster, but he's a good one. Fluke. Oh, yeah. It's hard for me not to throw a fluke anytime I'm bass fishing, though. I just love them. Sometimes the fish do, too. Fat booger too. Oh. oh yeah, he's a pretty nice one. Huh? I'm gonna guess 17, maybe a little more. We'll see. <laughs> but he's a nice one. He's fat too. Lord, he's fat. Caught him up at the very top of the hole up there. Yeah, he's a pretty good little fish. He's up at the very top over in that slack water. Oh, he wasn't as big as I thought he was. 17 and a half. And that's with his mouth open. I'm gonna go ahead and take one with his mouth open and then try to get his mouth closed. That's what I prefer to do, get one while I can. Yeah. Well, they getting that current. They got some shoulder to them. Oh, yeah. I love throwing the fluke. That's See this right pretty, here? ain't he? Yeah. Is that where they've been breeding? I think so. I'm not 100% sure. So I caught one way back there. Uh, second turn had that stuff all over it. Huh. Big. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He might be over 12. <laughs> That's a plus for me. I don't know. It may not be much over 12. <laughs> Oh, little buddy, why did you eat a fluke like that? Oh, you're just in the top of the mouth. You're all right. There we go.
and hid that thing down them. The whole hook was inside of his mouth, but it's just all rolled right up on top. No damage whatsoever. All right, I'm gonna do this quick measuring thing like you've been. Just throw them on the board and get a picture. Let's try to cast back out. Oh yeah, he's a 12 incher. Really? Yeah. I'm happy with them. <laughs> All right, buddy. Another nice smallmouth. Look at that belly. Ooh, eating good in the hood. All right, we gotta drop you off real quick. So we get through his uh, white water. I don't know how many that's made today. A couple dozen, maybe more. But it's been a uh, blessed day. Yeah, they're calling for rain, calling to be all nasty five. Man, we've just been fortunate. I had a few sprinkles on us. Excuse me, grunting and groaning, but trying to not get caught up here I'm trying to get over here where I can actually get maybe get down the river yeah we've uh, had a lot of fish today some nice fish uh, we caught 17 inches back to back out of the same hole me and Dale so it's been a uh, it's been a really good day we still got a little ways to go it's uh, a little bit after five we made a little bit after six this morning so it's been a long day, but a good one. And uh, we're gonna keep after until we get to the truck. Yeah, he was. He was kind of out, not even uh, right on the bank either. Or he's kind of out in the middle. I know how big you are. There ain't no point measuring you. Come on, Alair. There we go. Pretty little fish though. 